Today on Naughty Nat's Kitchen we're going to make some savoury muffins. Now these are ideal for lunch or you could have them for breakfast even. They'll keep for a few days in your fridge so you can just warm them up and enjoy them. You could add different um, vegetables that I'm adding. I'm just putting some onion, zucchini and sweet potato and we're going to grate those, chop the onion of course, grate those and pop them into a frying pan with a little bit of butter and just let them sweat off so we get the rawness of those veggies taken away. So I'll, we'll chop the onions I need to go and have some lessons by somebody professional how to chop onions but at least that I haven't chopped my finger off yet so into our frying pan with our onion so about a cup of each of the zucchini and the sweet potato uh, you could use sweet corn spinach, anything that you've got in the fridge really. I think that should do. So I'm actually going to pop that into a sieve and just squeeze out any liquid because we don't really want that in there. So pop that in there and give it a good squeeze. Already you can see there's quite a bit of moisture coming out of that. In fact I'll just let it sit while I grate the sweet potato and then we'll probably get even more out. a really nice orange sweet potato. I'm pretty much just guessing the measurements, you don't have to be too precise. That will do, don't want to waste any of it. So as much off as you can, pop that in our frying pan, press this through the sieve and see if we can get any moisture out of it. Not a lot, but every bit you get out will help. That should do. Not much at all. So we're just going to place that over a gentle heat and just saute it to soften the vegetables. So we have our sauteed vegetables. We're just going to leave those to cool down a little bit. I'm just going to chop some ham. This is actually bacon chops from our local supermarket. But um, any ham that you have bacon, doesn't really matter, your choice, whatever you can get. So we've chopped our bacon, we're going to pop that into our bowl and add the rest of the ingredients to that. So we have some tasty cheese, some melted butter, some salt and pepper to taste and a couple of eggs which we'll just beat a little bit beforehand. Pop our vegetables into there. So mushrooms would be another thing that you could use. Really up to you or what you happen to have on hand. It's a good way of using up little bits of leftover veggie. Just give that a little stir. And we have our feta cheese. And I've used a marinated feta cheese because I think it just has that little bit of extra flavour. Teaspoon of your xanthan gum a cup of gluten-free self-raising flour. And the self-raising flour looks beautiful and light and white alongside the plain flour. I'm not really sure why it should. Extra refined, I guess. But just give that a mix gently through, making sure you get all that flour in there. Then we're going to pop it in some muffin cases. And I've bought these nice, I don't know what you would call them, bigger muffin cases so you can make bigger muffins and I have sprayed them with a little bit of oil just to make sure that they'll come out nicely. So we're just going to spoon these into our muffin cases, make them fairly full. And we're going to pop these into a preheated oven about 180 to 190 degrees till they're nicely browned and cooked through. So as I said, these can be breakfast muffins, you can have them for lunch with some salad, really doesn't matter. And they will freeze as well. So you can pop them in your freezer if you make a quantity and freeze them. So now we're going to pop those in the oven and they'll take probably 25 
30 minutes to cook three. So we have our muffins out of the oven. Just pop them on this board to cool down a little bit. And then we'll see if we're successful in taking the paper off for you. So there we have our savoury muffins. They've got a nice crunchy outside and a nice soft centre. Just remember that you can use whatever veggies you want in your muffins. It doesn't have to be these, but I think you'll enjoy them anyway. So lunch, breakfast, doesn't really matter.